Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to document your Power BI queries. Which sources are you using, what are the source types, how things relate to each other and so on and so forth. So let's do it. Before we jump into this demonstration, uh, I have shown you before how to document your Power BI model. That means the actual DAX functions and columns uh, in Power BI with DAX Studio. And I have also shown you how to document your Power Pivot model in Excel with the uh, Power Pivot utilities add-in. But today I'm going to show you how to document your queries. For these, you need the Power BI September update. So for this demo, I am actually going to use our Rio uh, dashboard. And the reason for this is because it is quite messy in terms of the number of sources that it uses and how they are combined with each other and that kind of thing. So this is a perfect example, I think, to exemplify the new functionality. So. We are going to document the query, so let's go into the query panel. Here we have all the tables available and also the functions that we created. And to access this new feature, you need to click on View and then Query Dependencies. So let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see something. So th this is actually quite nice because what we can see here, these are our parameters and it has the parameter icon you see there also. Okay, so we have the parameters, we have the description for the parameter and that the load has been disabled, which is quite nice. We also have here the first data sources from our Rio site. And by clicking on it, we can see which tables you see on the icon here are getting data from this source. So you can see that we have three loads and then you see that we are actually merging data into this table. If we go here, we see that we have also a, a source from Wikipedia another source from Wikipedia and a source from Google Analytics. This is a table that was created directly into Power BI. So that's why it doesn't have a source. So we can see here that this table has been merged with these. That is also been merged with these. We cannot see then the relationships between tables, but we can actually see that in the Power BI relationship uh, view. So this is very useful. For example, if you are downloading my files, you can actually go in here and see, okay, how did she build that? Where are the sources and which table is being loaded? And in this particular example, I was actually merging tables everywhere with everything. And I guess for those that downloaded that didn't have this view, they had to watch the video quite careful. Now you can actually see, okay, the IOC table has been merged with the ISO country table, which in its turn has been merged with the geodata. So it becomes so much clearer to see how the query model is built. So I think this is really, really nice. Make sure that you use it when you are downloading files for me. And I will try to remember to show it so you can actually understand how everything has been built and make sense of it much faster, especially if you're going to reuse it. So this is it for today. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comment or a question or suggestion, about new videos, uh, please let me know in the comment box or in the uh, social media channels listed on the description box. And subscribe, I publish uh, Power BI videos every week. Have a nice evening. Bye.